Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, the big news this last week was non-farm payrolls, which came out much higher than expected. It came out at 272,000, when only 182,000 were expected. So it came out 90,000 jobs higher than expected, which is a very hot number and is considered inflationary. The 10-year yield immediately spiked up about uh, 15 basis points. So interest rates, long-term interest rates went up, which had a suppressing effect on the stock market. And it particularly had an effect on NVIDIA, which is, went down massively at first, but then recovered and, and regained its footing. And it looks to be consolidating. We have a big event coming up with NVIDIA splitting its stock 10 for 1. I have 300 shares. As of Monday, I will now have 3,000 shares. Now, the thing with the splitting of its stock, it's possible that it could go down at first, but usually in the months after a major split like this, the stock tends to go up. So I intend to put a 4% stop loss on NVIDIA. And if that is triggered, I will wait for it to stop going down. And when it starts to go up again, then I will buy back in. And this has been successful with me so far. So I plan to continue doing uh, this over and over. And I just will rinse and repeat because I expect NVIDIA to keep going up. NVIDIA is responsible for 50% of the increase in the S&P 500 in the last year. So in many ways, the Magnificent Seven is now the Magnificent One, and that Magnificent One is NVIDIA, NVDA. And it's my contention right now that it's more important for the economy to remain hot than whatever happens with inflation, because I think we have evidence that inflation is going to come down. The ECB, the European uh, Bank, has already lowered their interest rate by a quarter of a point, and other central banks around the world are either considering or already have lowered their interest rate somewhat. So it's expected that the Federal Reserve will probably uh, reduce uh, interest rates. I'm expecting the first one to be in September. Uh, some are forecasting November or December. But what's so important is not that they actually reduce the rates, but that there's an expectation that we will have at least one rate cut this year. I think if we get a, a massive rate cut or get uh, several rate cuts in a row, it'll be because the economy is deteriorating and that will be the worst news you've ever heard. It's actually good news that the, the economy stays hot because we know inflation looks to be decreasing. Oil prices have come down somewhat into the 70s and that's going to have a massive effect on lowering inflation. And so I think having the hot economy is almost all important. NVIDIA is clearly a colossal stock. It's over three trillion worth now. Uh, it's uh, surpassed Apple in uh, share value at one point. Uh, they're neck and neck now. Apple is, is coming up again. Uh, but it's, it's amazing how fast this company has grown. But it's not surprising in some ways they are 10 years ahead in chip development, ahead of the other chip makers. They keep coming up with new versions of their chips. Uh, first it was the Hopper, and then it was the Blackwell, and now they're already working on the Rubin. They're going to be coming out with a new chip, it looks to be, like every year. And this is unprecedented. And they're, to have access to these new chips, the, the customers are going to have to keep buying uh, the older chips until the new chips come out. In other words, if you want to skip a generation, you just moved yourself down the line as far as receiving the new chips. So they're being very strategic in who they're allowing to have access to these new chips. 
in that non-farm payroll report, I do not think is as inflationary as it looks because of the number of full-time jobs decreased by over 600,000. Now the part-time jobs increase, but the full-time jobs decrease massively by over 600,000. And that's very deflationary. Also, the unemployment rate increased from 3.9% to 4.0%. You're getting mixed data. And mixed data is what we want. This looks like a soft landing to me when you have mixed data like this, where the unemployment rate uh, is, is increasing, but the number of jobs are increasing. Uh, but again, I think a lot of that is part-time jobs. Nobody knows exactly what is occurring. Uh, the CPI report comes out on Wednesday, and that is going to be massive. And uh, the Federal Reserve reports what they're going to do with interest rates at the same time. The expectation is that they're just going to hold it at the same rate that it is. But the most important thing will be the interview on Wednesday afternoon, where we will look what their expectation is going forward for when they could possibly cut rates or how they see inflation going. I think it's a mixed picture. I don't expect them to be particularly hawkish. I expect more of a neutral point of we're just going to hold things the way they are. We're sort of happy the way things are turning out, that the economy is hot, uh, but inflation does not seem to be going out of control. On Wednesday, June 12th, the core CPI year to year is expected to decrease from 3.6% to 3.5%. And the core CPI on a month-to-month -month basis is expected to stay steady at 0.3%. But I think the best inflation news on Wednesday, June 12th, will be that the headline CPI month-on-month -month has decreased from 0.3% to 0.1%. The CPI year on year will stay steady at 3.4%. So we see some decrease in the core CPI year on year, and we see a decrease in the headline CPI month on month, which is welcome good news, especially when you're having signs of a hot economy. Another sign that we have a relatively hot economy is the Atlanta Fed revised its forecast of the quarter, second quarter estimate of GDP to be over 3%. It previously was like at 1.8%. So this spike upward, as you see on the chart, is very good news. It's very much more important that the economy remains strong. If the reason they cut rates is because the economy is falling apart, it's time to get out of stocks. That time isn't now. As far as artificial intelligence stocks, the main stocks I'm trading is NVIDIA. It's all centered on NVIDIA. I had a thousand shares of NVIDIA in the past while it was storming up and I made all kinds of money. And I've reduced it to 300 because I see it as volatile. And having 3,000 shares as of Monday will be quite enough. But the other major news with artificial intelligence stocks is Broadcom. AVGO. I've already bought some Broadcom, some AVGO, and my strategy with stock earnings nowadays is I, I buy 100 shares of it prior to the earnings announcement. If the numbers come out positive, the first announcement comes out positive, I'll buy another 100 shares. And if the forecast uh, the conference that they hold after the numbers are released. If the forecast is positive, I'll buy another 100 shares. So it's a three-stage process. I expect the earnings to be positive. I love the stock. I always have loved the stock and find any excuse to buy it, I buy it. <laughs> but I'm an active trader and I'm going to do this three-stage process. I already have 100 shares. I'll buy another 100 shares when the numbers come out. 
if they're positive, and I'll buy another 100 shares if they report that their forecast is for it to remain positive. So it's a three-step process. It just amounts to whether I'm going to hold 100 shares long-term or whether I'm going to up it to 300 shares. And looking at the chart on NVIDIA, NVDA, and Broadcom, AVGO, you can see that Broadcom has gone up about 6% and NVIDIA has gone up about 5% in the last week. But, you know, these are stocks that move up massively. I expect uh, Broadcom to move up massively on earnings. If not, I'm probably going to stick with it anyway, just because I love the stock. I'll stick with it at 100 shares. But if it, if all numbers are good and the forecast is good, uh, I'll triple down on it. Whereas with NVIDIA, my goal is to just keep hanging on to the 300 shares, which now on Monday have become 3,000 shares. That's probably enough for me to own for right now. Thanks for listening and watching. Good luck to us all. I want to be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all our insecurities are on this display, this is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be.